What's good B sounds? It's your boy Kit Can Raid. Just a quick one today about the plank. It and the sit up are like your my first six pack dream combo, except neither of them really work, at least not the way you see most people execute them. So we're gonna jump straight into the plank, some common mistakes you see, and how to make the plank actually difficult, as well as where to move to once you've nailed this extra plank. Here is your standard lousy plank. Let's fix it. Firstly, we have a wide foot placement. That's given us a nice stable base. That kind of defeats the point, don't you think? Bring your feet together to make the movement, if you can call staying very still a movement, harder to stabilize. Secondly, we have a lot of back sag. The hips have an anterior pelvic tilt. What's basically happening here is we're resting on the stretched abdominals. When the rectus abdominis contracts, it brings the origin in the pubis and its insertion on the ribs closer together. By sinking into the hips, we're stretching those two places as far apart from each other as they'll go and then resting on that stretched muscle. So obviously you can hold that position for ages, there's no contraction occurring and it's not doing you any good. Tuck your hips under your body and flatten out your back by activating the abdominals and trying to bring your ribs and hips closer together. Flex your quads, glutes, core and everything else while you're at it. You should now have a nice straight line from your feet to your shoulders. A couple more tweaks and we will arrive at a perfect basic form. Keep your neck neutral. We spend enough time slouched over or looking down at our phones. We might as well train some good posture into this plank. You have a heavy old melon and in this position is directly fighting gravity. Let's take advantage of that. Strengthen the muscles in the neck and the shoulders and not worsen the posture that modern day living is trying to lumber us with. We've sunk into our shoulders here. Again, we're not actively fighting gravity. We're just resting on our structure and that is doing us no good. Let's press into the floor, protracting the shoulders. That is gonna light up the serrator's anterior, an important muscle for protracting and stabilizing the scapula, and very important for throwing a tight punch. I often get asked if the high plank or the low plank is a harder exercise, and the answer is yes. A high plank is harder on your shoulders, you have a lot less contact area with the ground, so it requires a lot more stabilizing. Gravity in the low plank, however, is acting straight down on your core, which makes it harder on the abdominals, which, as that's what we're trying to hit here, makes it the obvious choice. It is a reasonably subtle difference, but that's the answer. If you want the best of both worlds, elevate your feet so that your body is... What's that? Was it a parallel? Perpendicular. If you want the best of both worlds, elevate your feet so that your body is perpendicular with gravity and plank off your hands. If going with a low plank, place your elbows directly beneath your shoulders to begin with. Keep your forearms parallel. Again, we spend enough time internally rotated. Let's train some external rotation while we're down there. While you're down there, train some external rotation. Now what we have here is the minimum requirement for a plank. If you're doing less than this, you're wasting your time. You are just having a weird lie down. If you're doing this, congratulations, you are planking a participation award to you. But if you want to go for gold, a little gold, a little gold, there's a couple of little tweaks we can do to make this basically unbearable. Let's have a look. Up until this point, we've had the elbows underneath the shoulders. That's Danny. Placing those elbows underneath the eyes is gonna increase the lever of the exercise and make it exponentially harder. We'll call that bronze. Until now, we've been keeping a nice straight line in the body, training that neutral posture position. But if we round the upper back, bringing the hips and ribs as close to each other as possible, we can achieve a more powerful maximum contraction. This position is called the hollow body, making this a hollow body plank. Silver. Thinking about training the plank as how long can I hold this leads us to try and make the exercise as easy as possible so it lasts longer. But once again, it's time under tension that we're after, not time under mild discomfort. You want that maximum powerful contraction because that is the gold standard tension that we want to try and spend time under. To get that, try and crush the ground between your feet and your forearms. So you're trying to drag your forearms back and your feet forward. Now obviously, they won't move, but the intention will absolutely light up your core. I guarantee you won't be able to hold this one for long. And why would you want to? Why would you spend a long time doing an ineffective exercise 
when you can spend a short time doing a much more effective exercise and get better results. Here is a quick checklist. Tight stance, legs together, contract quads and glutes, posterior pelvic tilt, so shorten the distance between your hips and your ribs, protract your shoulders, as in push into the ground, you want your forearms parallel, you want your elbows beneath your shoulders, and your neck neutral. To bump it up, you're going to move your elbows forward, you can contract your abs into a hollow body position, and you can crush the ground between your elbows and feet. The progression from an advanced hollow body plank would be a hollow body hold, a very tough exercise. But, like the plank, very easy to fake your way through. I'm sure I'll have a video up on that sooner or later, but for now, whatever level you're at, give this one a go. Implement those changes step by step and see how each one affects you. No one can know how your body responds better than you, so experiment. Learn how it reacts. Stick around and I will help where I can. Questions and comments below? Drop me a like if you found this useful, and as always, my friends, get them gains, be well.